Hey guys, you might think I'm wearing an eye patch because this video is about a pirate sword. Actually, I've been in hospital recently for quite a serious eye injury and I have to wear an eye patch. That's okay. We'll just do pirate stuff. Medical emergencies can be fun. So if you follow my channel, you know that I like to make costumes that look cool but are also kind of functional. So if I'm making a suit of armor, I want it to actually take some hits, not just be a weak little piece of foam. I don't think that's the right approach for Halloween stuff though, because mostly you're wearing these costumes to parties, so you don't want it to actually be functional. It needs to look nice, but it doesn't have to be strong, doesn't have to be sharp, doesn't have to be heavy. This dollar store pirate cutlass isn't sharp, heavy or strong, but it also doesn't look that good. Here's how to make it look good in only an afternoon for like a couple of bucks. Okay, so the first thing I did was try and sand off the little groove where the plastic bits join up. I just used a really fine grit sandpaper. Then it was time to take the sucker apart and I sprayed each piece with a coat of grey primer. When that was dry, I gave the blade a coat of aluminium and I gave the handle a coat of gold. While the paint's drying, you might want to take a second to thank the tree gods for allowing you and all humans to live on the planet with the mighty trees. A lot of people who follow my tutorials tell me they skip this step, but I think if you do it, you will notice a result in the final product. I use an old off-cut of a leather jacket. I cut it into strips and use contact cement to make it be one giant strip. That's going to be for the handle wrapping in a little bit. At this point, you can put it back together. I used a cheap wood glue to um, a try and fill in that gap from earlier that I was sanding down. This isn't something you have to do. Obviously, the more times you do it as well, the better the crack will be filled in, but it's up to you if you do it or not. It kind of works. It's not amazing. Then I got out my handy contact cement, applied it to the wrapping and the handle, and started wrapping the wrapping onto the handle. Uh, at this point, if you're like me, you will notice that you put the blade on back to front. Uh, you can, If you listen carefully, you can notice the exact point that I realized I've done this. Oh, freaking hell. So yeah, you're gonna have to take it apart quickly to put that back in, but if you're not a moron, you should be able to skip this step. I also put on this random piece of string I had lying around. What does it do? I don't know, but I'm sure the pirate who this cutlass belonged to would be able to tell you. Um, I, th I think it's little details like this that make props and costumes really stand out. It's the difference between, oh, that guy's dressed as a pirate, and oh my god, look at that guy over there. Like, if people walk past you and say, whoa, that's the pinnacle of cosplaying. That's what it's all about. Victory! I used a little needle file to scratch up the blade and make it look like it's been in a whole bunch of piratey fights. Then it was time for my favourite step, which is the black wash. Just a cheap acrylic paint, water it down and apply it to all the little nooks and crannies and then wipe off the excess with a rag or a cloth. It really helps to weather it and make it look dirty, but also it kind of unifies all the separate pieces that you've added into one actual coherent piece. They all have the same black wash over them. I gave it a clear coat just to make that metal pieces a bit shinier, then splattered some blood on it, and there you go. Actually, that's not real blood, I should say. Anyway, and there you go, that's how to make a disgusting, yucky $1 sword into an awesome $1 sword. Technically, it still costs $1, but I'd pay more than $1 if it looked like this to begin with. You, you get what I... it looks better, that's what I'm saying. What are you doing there? Oh, dot. Cool. Please don't, maybe don't just, I'm just gonna move this over here. And that's how to make a dollar store pirate cutlass look good in an afternoon for a couple of bucks. So tell me, the eye patch and the hoodie, is that a good look? Am I a Mad Max villain at the moment?